Welcome to my YouTube channel, a library of seven. A very good morning, dear students. I hope you are all doing well. In this lecture, I am going to teach the last assignment of strength of materials. I know you are all preparing for your final NPTEL exam, so you need to solve each and every question in all the assignments. I am providing all the assignment links in the description, so you can go through each and every assignment. So the first question is, in an open coil helical spring of 15 coils, the stresses due to bending and torsion are 80 and 100 MPa respectively, when the spring is axially loaded. The mean diameter of the coil is 5 times the wire diameter. So that is he has given the relationship between diameter of the coil to the mean diameter of the coil. Find the maximum allowable load for maximum extension of 20 mm. So he has given the extension. For this extension, how much load we need to apply? And he has given the data modulus of elasticity, modulus of rigidity. So let's go with the solution. So Mb is equal to sigma b into l divided by pi. So it will be pr sin alpha. So that is equal to 80 pi d cube divided by 32 is equal to 2.5 into pd sin alpha. So you will get p sin alpha is equal to 3.14 d square. So this is one relation and mt is equal to pr cos alpha. pr cos alpha is equal to 7.85 d square. So you will get PR sin alpha divided by P cos alpha. So it will be from this relation alpha is equal to 21.8 degrees. Okay. For limiting deflection. Delta is equal to 64 PR cube n divided by T power 4 cos alpha into cos squared alpha divided by g plus 2 sin square alpha divided by e. So by substituting all the values you will get diameter d is equal to 12.118 and load b is equal to 102.4 d. So whenever you substitute the d value here it will be 1241, 1241 newton. Okay. So the answer you will get it is option b for question number 1. Okay, coming to question number 2. So, in a closed coil spring, other quantities remaining same if the wire diameter is tripled, that is, he is making that 3 times the original diameter, then the stiffness of the spring compared to original one will be. So, we have a relation stiffness of the spring K is equal to G D power 4 divided by 64 R cube M. So, as per this relation, K directly proportional to D power 4. So, K2 by K1 is equal to D2 by D1 whole power 4. So, that is D2 is 3 times the original diameter. 3D divided by D whole power 4. So, K2 will be equal to 81 times A. So, answer B for question number 2. Coming to question number 3 of the assignment. So, in a closed coil helical spring is to carry a load 600 Newton. Its mean coil diameter is to be 10 times the wire diameter, the mean coil diameter of the spring. If the maximum shear stress in the material of the spring not exceed 150 Newton per mm square is. So, we need to calculate the diameter. It has given P is equal to 600 Newton and D is equal to 10 D. Tau max is equal to 150 Newton per mm square. So, we will have a relation tau is equal to 16w divided by 16w d by 2 divided by pi d square. So, whenever you substitute the values it is 150 is equal to 16 into 150 into 10d divided by 2 divided by pi d square. So, you will get diameter d is equal to 11.28. You just solve this equation once and you will confirm whether it is 11.82 or some other value. Okay. So, but by using this relation, I have calculated. So, answer C for question number 3. Coming to question number 4 of the assignment. So, a helical spring is fabricated by wrapping wire 20 mm in diameter around a cylinder having 200 mm diameter. Compute the number of turns required to permit an elongation of 100 mm without exceeding shear stress 130 mpa. Modulus of rigidity G is equal to 82. 
So, I am writing given data D is equal to 20 mm, capital D is equal to 200 mm and G is equal to 82 GPA, delta is equal to 100 mm, tau max is 130 MPA. So, we need to calculate a factor called Ks is equal to 1 plus small d by 2 times capital D that is 1 plus small d is 20, 2 times capital D is 200. So, that will be Ks is equal to 1.05. So, and you will have a formula tau max is equal to Ks into 8pd divided by 5d cube. So, it will be 130 is equal to 1.05 into 8p we do not know 200 divided by 5d cube is 20 cube. So, it will be p is equal to 1944.795 newton and reflection delta is equal to 8pd cube l divided by g d power 4. So, delta is equal to from this equation n will be g d power 4 delta divided by 8 p d q. So, n is equal to 82,000 20 power 4 into 100 divided by 8 into 1944.795 into 200 q. You will get around 11 number of tons. It will be answer D for question number 4. Coming to question number 5 of the assignment, a closed coil helical spring has a stiffness of 1.5 Newton per mm under 70 Newton maximum load and 130 Newton per mm square maximum shear stress. The solid length of the spring when coils are touched is 45 mm. Find the mean diameter of the coil and the number of coils required. Modulus of rigidity and a stress concentration factor K is equal to 1. So that is stiffness K is equal to W by delta and we have formula for stiffness G D power 4 divided by 64 R cube N. So K is given as 1 and 42,000 D power 4 64 R cube into N. D power 4 is equal to 64 R cube N divided by 42,000 and you have one more formula tau max is equal to 64 PR divided by pi d cube. So from this relation when you substitute the values you will get a relation R is equal to 0.364 d cube and solid length he has given 45 mm that solid length is equal to n d n number of turns into one diameter is solid length n d is equal to 45 n is equal to 45 divided by d. So, you will get relation d is equal to 4.17 mm. From this value, you will get r is equal to 26.39. Okay, 26.39. From this, it will be into 2, you will get diameter. Okay, so this is approximately 9 per value. Here the option is option b for question number 5. Coming to question number 6 of the assignment. A closed coil helical spring is made of steel wire of 6 mm diameter has 10 tons of mean diameter 65 mm and the pitch of the coil when spring is unloaded is 15 mm. Determine axial load when lo gradually applied cause just to close up. G value he has given. So let's take first of all total deflection in loading condition. is equal to 10 into pitch minus dia. So that is 10 into pitch is 15 minus 6. It will be 90. Clear? So delta is equal to 64 P R Q N divided by G D power 4. P is equal to delta G D power 4 divided by 64 R Q N. So it will be P is equal to delta is 90. G is 80 into 1000. 6 power 4 divided by 64 65 by 2 4 power 4 q into 10. So it will be p is equal to 424.7 newton. So answer c for question number 6. Coming to question number 7 of the assignment, it is very lengthy question. So let me take one more page. 
So he has given all the data. So small p, 100 mm, and axial load capital P, 150 mm. Calculate tan alpha, small p divided by 2 pi r. So you will get alpha is equal to 4.5 by degrees. And twisting moment mt is equal to pr cos alpha. So whenever you substitute the values, you will get it is. 2905.45 newton meter and bending moment mv is equal to pr sin alpha it will be 2379.87 newton mm and axial force v is equal to p sin alpha shear force v is equal to p cos alpha these are all the formulas you need to calculate 11.19 149.52 newton newton and bending stress Sigma B is equal to 32 MB divided by 5 degree. So you will get this value 3.03. And tensile stress, sigma T is equal to T by A. So it will be 0 0.038. Total summation sigma is equal to sigma B plus sigma T. It will be 3.068. And tau T is equal to 16 MT divided by 5 degree. So it is 19.03 MPA. Tau V is equal to 4 V divided by 3A. I am providing all the formulas. You can solve all this. So total tau is equal to tau V plus tau T. So it will be tau is equal to 19.03 plus 0.634. It will be 19.664. And then sigma 1 will be sigma by 2 plus sigma by 2 whole square plus tau square so this is major principle stress you will get 21.19 mpa and maximum shear stress tau max is equal to sigma by 2 whole square plus tau square so you will get it is 20.1 so by this option c will match for question number 7 so I have not solved by placing all the values. I am just providing formula for each and every step. You can go through the steps and solve this problem. Okay, one of the most important problem. By how much twisting moment, how much bending moment, how much shear stress, how much normal stress, you are all getting. Okay. Next question. Question number 8 of the assignment. In the earlier problem, find out the deflection due to the given loading condition E and G he has given. So you can have your formula total deflection. Total deflection delta is equal to 64 P R Q T N divided by T power 4 cos alpha cos square alpha divided by G plus 2 sin square alpha divided by G. Okay. So substitute the values 64 150 200 Q 18 divided by 20 power 4 cos 4.55 into cos 4.55 square plus g is 8 into 10 power 4 2 sin square 4.55 divided by g is 2 into 10 power 5 g is 2 into so you will get it is 180.3 mm this is the total deflection for this problem so option a for question number 8 Coming to question number 9 of the assignment, a vehicle weighing 660 kN is moving at 3 km per hour. Find the number of springs required in a buffer stop to absorb the kinetic energy of the vehicle during a compression of 200 mm. Each spring has 20 coils. Coil diameter is 250 mm. Diameter of the spring is spring rod is 20 mm and modulus of rigidity it is 42 MPa. So, first of all, convert V into kmph into meter per second. 3 kmph is equal to 0.833 meter per second. And kinetic energy Ke is equal to half mv square. So, he has given that weighing is half 60 kilo newton. Kilo means 1000. Newton is 9.81. I am converting this into kgs. V square is 0.833 whole square. So, you will get it is 2106.73. Joules. This is a kinetic energy and a deflection delta is equal to 64 P R Q N divided by G T power 4. So by this equation you will get P is equal to 537.6 
and energy stored in the spring. Energy stored in one spring is equal to half P delta. So that is you will get it is 53.76. So number of springs required is equal to 21673 divided by 53.76 it will be 39 springs approximately. So for this question option D will be the answer. Coming to last question of the assignment. So two close, closely coiled helical springs A and B are similar in all respect except the number of turns. Number of turns in A are triple of number of turns in B. What is the ratio of deflection in spring A to B? So we have a standard formula delta is equal to 64p r cube n divided by gd power 4. As delta is directly proportional to number of springs, delta A divided by delta B is equal to number of springs in A divided by number of springs in B. That is 3 divided by 1. So it is 3. So option B for question number 10 and I am reminding you once again you need to go through each and every assignment okay all the links of assignments in the description so all the best for your final NPTEL exam thank you